Hi everyone, it's me. Um, I wanted to talk today um, regarding about some of the state of affairs that are actually happening in New York State right now. As of today, the mask mandate has been lifted for vaccinated individuals, which is exciting, but, you know, there might be still some, some issues with that because, I mean, it's up to personal, you know, individual businesses to set those regulations. But one of the main businesses that's going to be looking carefully at this are going to be gyms. And I know that on my feed there's a lot of people that are active, that are reg at least were regular gym goers. I I'm reading posts about people looking forward to going back to the gym. And I wanted to talk about a topic that, um, you know, that is kind of a good thing to be informed about, especially if you're looking forward to going back and working on your, your level of fitness and your health. And that's the topic of personal trainers. And this is kind of an interesting one for me to talk about because um, I've worked with personal trainers before. I have had um, some interesting experiences with them, and now I actually am one. So I'm going to be kind of talking about this from both ends. So uh, the issue was that uh, I purchased a personal training package from a gym a long time ago. I liked it. I thought it was a little bit expensive, at least expensive for me at the time. Um, and then uh, I had a couple of sessions like later on. One was like a free one that came with my membership and then uh, the other issue was at a, a reassessment with the trainer. So the first story was uh, after I'd been a regular gym goer for a while and uh, you know, I was happy with the amount of strength I was gaining. I was getting stronger. My body type is that I put on muscle really really easy and don't lose weight very easily but um, it's easy for me to um, feel some increases in strength and not too much of, a amount of, of an amount of time. So the, uh, the session went where I really wanted to work on targeted weight loss in the belly fat area. <laughs> yeah, that's not a thing. I didn't know that then. Um, so the trainer was like, okay, we can do that. Uh, let me show you the three hardest ab exercises that I know. And I was like, great, this is going to be fun. So uh, one was with a piece of equipment, and the other two were like just you know body weight type of things. Um, and uh, I was able to do all three. Now, not really considering myself an athlete at the time, I was like, wow, this is great. I guess I'm really strong. I must be like one of the best clients she's had for a while. Um, and it made me feel really good inside. She's like, wow, I've never seen anybody be able to do these so successfully on the first try. Usually it takes a few weeks. So I was feeling really good about myself. <laughs> but like now I'm on the other end of that. And I'm definitely stronger than I was then. And I definitely know plenty of ab exercises that I certainly can't do. So, hmm, kind of makes you think a little bit. The other one uh, was actually at a reassessment where, uh, you know, I met in the office of this personal trainer and she crunched my numbers and, uh, you know, we went through everything again, you know, so that, you know, they can tell you what's what's your next step, you know, pro uh, progress, uh, taking a look at your progress and your changes and everything. And <laughs> I gained weight. And I was really distraught about it. And remember, this is going back like a bunch of years ago. I didn't know anything like I know now. <laughs> and she's like, well, it's probably because you're putting on all this muscle. I mean, look at these sets and reps you're able to do. And look at the weight, you know. I mean, you've been able to lift so much more than you used to. And it was like, okay, but I thought that was supposed to burn calories. And she's like, no, it means you're putting on muscle. So she's like, well, in it looks like here, in order to lose weight, you're going to have to lose muscle too. And I just kind of like froze and I was like, is that how it's supposed to work? You know, the doubt, the same doubt you see in my face right now. And she's like, well, yeah, you're putting on too much muscle. So if you want to lose weight, you're going to have to lose some of that. So looking at the other end of this now, I know that that was a downright lie. And that's not how it works. <laughs> and I think she took my situation of which at the time she or I didn't know. I didn't know how to eat correctly. Um, and instead of taking a moment to figure out what was needed for my situation, she just made something up. So be careful of these types of indiv individuals. Uh, what I would recommend is to um, maybe see if you can meet your personal trainer before you start any sessions. Or at least, um, you know, maybe write down a couple of questions that you know you'd like to ask prior to starting session. Maybe you could talk for five, ten minutes or something like that. And the first thing 
and this is so, so important, the first thing that you need to be able to ask and get a good answer for is, are you going to assess my abilities first? Now, assessment can mean a whole bunch of things. It can mean getting your height, weight, you know, just like your, your demographical data, I guess. Um, and then uh, the other type of assessment, which is actually a more important one here, is your physical assessment. Now, when I took my coursework back in like November, December, um, the course uh, for becoming a certified personal trainer was, it spent a whole ton of time uh, making sure that you knew how to do somebody's initial um, physical assessment and then how to reassess later on. And the things to watch out for. This is incredibly important because, well, think of the situation. Let's say you're going to work with a personal trainer and this person doesn't actually take you on a physical assessment, pre-assessment. And suddenly you're given these exercises to do, and you can't do them, okay? Or you you can do them, but you're not that great at them, all right? It may maybe feel too tough or not right or something like that. Okay, so there's a whole ton of issues with this because if you can't do them, then how can you set yourself up to be able to have the correct alignment of all of your joints to do them safely? Even if you can't do them well, you need to be able to do them safely. If you're not, very quickly, you will likely get injured, okay? So, I mean, how can a personal trainer decide what correct exercises to do and give to you when they don't know what your abilities are? What if you just have a bum knee that, like, turns out slightly? And, um, you know, that might be caused by a bone problem, but, like, what if she doesn't know that? Or what if he doesn't know that and gives you something that puts additional strain on that? That knee might very well hurt a lot that, you know, at the time of that exercise or the next day. Not a good situation. And then what if you're meant to be doing this exercise, you know, three times a week for the next six weeks or something like that, whatever, however they prescribe it? Yeah, you're going to wind up with some pretty bad issues with that. So, and that's just one example. I mean, the list can go on. The list of possible examples um, and consequences of this can continue to go on with this. So, I guess um, the main takeaway for this little session today is if you're going to work with a personal trainer as you get back to the gym, make sure you request or make sure that they do a pre-assessment. You know, if you've been out of the gym for a while, you probably don't have a home gym then, of course. And have you actually been using those machines or doing anything to keep your strength up or going forward or anything like that? Are you just getting back into it after a year and a half or so? I mean, <laughs> your body is different than it was pre-pandemic, probably. Hopefully for the better, but in a lot of cases I'm sure it's not, you know, with people stuck home for a while. So, you know, that's, that's the main takeaway is to make sure that they assess you properly in order to reduce the risk of any kind of issues later on. All right. All right. So thank you so much. And there will be more to come. And enjoy the rest of this beautiful day.